Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Dragon Quest VIII Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. Picking up where we left off last time in Baccarat. Not going to bother with the casino yet, um, because I hate it, and you can't make me. What we are going to do is we're going to head back to working on the main quest. Um, wherever that means going. You know, let me check the world map. I think Argonia is probably going to be the best place to go. Not Argonia. Arcadia. Arcadia is probably the best place to head to. Arcadia? No, Arcadia is not right either. Is it Arcadia? I can't, I can't remember the names of the places we've been. Um, you know, honestly, I'm thinking, um, Alexandria might be the closest to that inlet. We'll see where the uh, map pops out. Escantha is what I was thinking of. I should check the uh, the map again to see where our boat popped out. That's not terrible. And I think we need to go under the bridge between uh, Alexandria and Fairbury. So I think we're in the right place. We are going to cast Holy Protection. Nobody say anything. <laughs> and... Balmerin's Bell. All right, and we're off. cooking what is it what is it is it Angela's new sword it's Angela's new sword guys sweet all right what else can we make I'm trying to remember what it was we were working on do we have two dragon scales now? We do! We can make some, uh, dragon armor, I think. Let's check the guide. I think we're good on swords for a while. Because we can't make the Shamshir of Light for a while. Well, no, that's wrong. As soon as we get a rune staff, we can make it. Which, oh my god, we can go get a rune staff. Should we do that? I mean, it's going to make Angelo pretty ridiculous. It has almost double the attack power of what we just made. Oh, that is tempting. 
We're set on spears for a while. The Hero Spear is Monster Arena rank A. Metal King Spear is found in a chest somewhere. Yengis will get his Conqueror's Axe once we can fly. The Staff of Divine Wrath. Until we get to Trian Gully. So I think we're pretty much set on weapons for now. Let's take a look at those... The uh, armor. Dragon mail. Silver mail plus two dragon scales. That is not better than the spike armor. And Yangus already has his gigant armor. We're like, we're actually doing really, really well on equipment. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations, I'm open to them. But I think for now, we're just going to uh, keep pushing forward in the story. I'm almost certain we could use some better accessories, but whatever. Whatevs. Oh, somebody suggested that I do the uh, marathon on Memorial Day. Which isn't a terrible idea. I think that's when I did my uh, marathon last year also. I need to talk to the kid's mom about it. And the girlfriend, of course. Shrimp and a fish. Crazy, crazy looking shrimp and a angry looking fish. Oh, his name is Crazy. That, that works out. All enemies. Oh my god. I seriously, just like an hour ago, uh, Vestalance sent me a message reminding me <laughs> that Kakrackle hits all enemies, much like Kaboom does. And I had forgotten about that. I am not the best Dragon Quest player. I hope I never gave anybody the uh, idea that I might be. Don't do it. God damn it. Oh no. Are these guys really that weak? Well, the shrimp was. Um, no, there's 
there's nothing. Ugh. Her hip drop is just so pathetic. I wonder if it does more damage if you uh, go the sword route with Jessica. It's red! Recognized ya. You're that lot who got the Venus tear for me, ain't ya? Fancy seeing you again in a place like this. Red, what on earth are you doing here? Well, I heard a rumor that there's treasure here. Belong to that old pirate, Captain Crow. Mentioned treasure to me, and I'm unstoppable. I can't get enough of it. So I got myself this boat and came on down to see what I could find. By the looks of you, you're here for the same reason, eh? Oh, this could be a bit of a laugh then. First one to find it keeps it. You're on. In which case, I'd better get a wiggle on. Sure you won't mind giving me a bit of an head start. I really wish we'd gotten the Yengis Mystery Dungeon Oi, game. <laughs> you can't just say all that and then run off. And there are monsters in here, you know. Look at you, going off half-cocked on your own. You must have a screw loose. Who do you think you are underestimating me like that? You should know by now how good I am at creeping around. Those monsters won't even know I'm in here. Not like you, you big fat clodhopper. She says that, but she loves him. We all know. Now, what's this other door? Is this just the way out? Just a rest area? Not even that. We got pots here. Oh, see the magic. Bad. What's this on the floor? Rope? Yes. All right, time to bust out my map. Savella Cathedral yet? I suppose we could have headed there. I seriously not have a map for this place? Pirate's Cove, there we go. I was going to be kind of annoyed. Actually, this place doesn't look like it's too complicated. Magic water. Another mini metal, yay! I have no doubt missed a few. Some riptides. Were we fighting these a while ago? What am I doing? Guys, what am I doing? Clean sweep. Axes of Evil, Casizzle. Angelo, you can Falcon Slash. Drop! Yep. Still pretty awful. I think it only does like a little bit more damage than her regular physical attack. 
It's probably okay if you get it really early on and you have a way to increase her attack power, but, you know, I've been going full staves with her. Map of the Pirate's Cove. The look -see. Pretty straightforward. Oh, no, that, this is where I wanted to go. We need to go back to Trodane Castle also. Another mini metal. shield in this game? The one that casts multi-heal? I never remember this stuff. Shields. Oh, it casts mid-heal. Damn it. But yeah, it is in the game. Our shields are like way behind. That's honestly what I probably need to focus on getting upgraded next. Since our weapons are really good for a while. I remember this room. No, Red, I'm not helping you. In my youth, I sailed the seas, explored the world, and discovered more rare and valuable treasures than I can remember. But I will regret to my dying day the fact that in all my travels, I never managed to set foot on the island of the legendary Godbird. Alas, my frail old body prevents me from setting out on another arduous sea voyage. And so, as I can't go myself, I have placed a clue to finding the island within my treasure vault. You who wish to take up the mantle of my legacy, proceed through the hidden door at the back of this room and stand before me. How, how was my pirate impression, guys? Was that good? Uh, I actually, uh, I feel that one was okay. <laughs> it's a book entitled Evil Weapons. Modify a battle fork with a poison weapon and combine it with a cursed item to create a demon spear way ahead of you. The power of evil pulses through the demon spear. You will find that it can occasionally take the life of an enemy with a single thrust. Like spears are supposed to. Hey, Red, how's it going? Why am I helping you? It's the diary of a simpletonian. In an effort to reduce my load when out traveling, I decided to use my favorite helm as a makeshift cooking pot. One day, as I was using it to warm some fresh milk, I accidentally dropped a cow pat into it. I was all set to drink it anyway, but guess what? My helm suddenly sprouted a pair of horns. Now I can't balance it on the ground for cooking anymore. And to make matters worse, it fell over when the horns came out, so I lost the ingredients too. New recipe for the alchemy pot. Bullish headwear. Helm, cow pat, fresh milk. Be some kind of secret passage in here. Right you didn't again. do anything. So looks like our competition's back on track, then, eh? I won't be losing to the likes of you. Uh, 
enemies. Uh, I want to say that the Demon Thunderers are going to be the dangerous ones. Jess! Kaboom. Light him up, Jess. Falcon Thrash. I think is in order, and let's get a multi heal out. It doesn't hit the demons. Why didn't I notice that the first time? Sexy beam. I feel we've been underutilizing Jessica's abilities. Let's see if Sexy Beam actually wants to do any kind of damage this time. Her hip drop was doing what, like 22 to these guys? 34 for 4 MP. That is so not worth it. Well, we'll go towards the dead end first. <gasps> barrels! I love barrels. That was a boring dead end. Oh, mimics. Ah, damn it. It was like the worst case scenario. Don't do it. Shit. No. All the enemies I never want to go first. It's going to be mimics and cannon boxes. Do not. Go for a crackle since demons don't care about fire.
those of you who haven't checked it out yet, or uh, maybe you'll just watch my videos for Dragon Quest stuff, Nostalgia is out on Steam now. It's an 8-bit MMO. It is really, really good. N-E-S-T-A-L-G-I-A. -E Nostalgia. It is absolutely great. It's what a Dragon Quest MMO would have been like if it had come out, like, late 80s, early 90s. There is a demo for it. Uh, it caps you at level 10, and it limits what character classes you can pick, and it's offline. But uh, it'll give you a pretty good idea of what the game's like. It'll get you through the, uh, the starter area, so you'll be able to see that much. Let's go after the Riptide, I guess. Yes, when are you getting frizzle? Oh, she's also gonna get Kazing at a hundred points in staff. Kafrizzle, level thirty-five, and that's her last spell too. Word. different stairs. Is there even anything down there? No. Doesn't look like we need to go that way. Although there is a barrel in here. Or a pot or something breakable. Sagan so like smash! Don't be a mimic. Sweet. He just got an upgrade. Helm. There's probably something we can make with that. I don't know if it's safe to use right now. Nope, it's cursed. But we can totally turn it into something. Hades Helm. We can make a Mithril Helm by combining it with Saint's Ashes. And you can also use it to make the Hell Scythe, which we don't really care about this run. And I think we have Saint's Ashes, too, so we can make a Mithril Helm as soon as we're out of this place. Zombie Gladiators, who somehow got the drop on us in this hallway. <laughs> Yangus is like, I don't care. Seriously, keep going for it.
He did. Not Flame Slash, Falcon. Falcon Slash. <laughs> Again. God, it is way too early. I think we're making good time, though. Alright, Zombie Gladiator's defeated. We are half an hour in. I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you guys next time as we finish out the Pirate Cove. As always, I'm your host, Saigon. This is the Dragon Quest VIII Let's Play, and I'll see you guys next time.